All new at 6 tonight, there were first responders before that phrase was even invented. Tonight, Mike Randall takes us on a visit to the Buffalo Fire Historical Museum at William and North Ogden Streets here in the Queen City, a special place that traces the history of some of Buffalo's bravest. That's Jim Albert triggering a fire alarm. The old fashioned way. Really, it's nothing more than a telegraph tapping in the alarm box number. Jim is a volunteer at the Buffalo Fire Museum, which means he gets to give tours here. I am from two factories that used to build fire trucks right here in Buffalo. It's an amazing collection of firefighting memorabilia. That's what brought Jim here six years ago. Just the history of the firefighting in Buffalo, going back to the bucket brigades, uh, which progressed into volunteer firefighters, then the evolution into a uh, paid professional fire department in 1880. That's how far back this old horse-drawn steamer goes. We're lucky to even have it. A lot of these were sacrificed in World War II for their scrap value, the steel, the brass, the copper. There's a large section devoted to one of Buffalo's worst fire disasters, the propane explosion in 1983. And this display contains gifts from Japan. Our sister city, Kanzawao, Japan, their firefighters came over and did an acrobatic show in 1980. When they were done, they donated their bamboo ladder, their robes, and their banner to the museum. Being an acrobat could come in handy as guests here are invited to try on some firefighting equipment. Jim says the museum is entirely run by volunteers, and he's the only one who is not a former firefighter. I had a 40-year career in mechanical engineering. When I retired, looking for something to do, I already knew some of these guys at the museum, so to me it was a perfect fit to come down here and volunteer. They're always looking for volunteers, and you can get a museum membership for just $30. The Buffalo Fire Museum is open one day a week on Saturday starting at 10 a.m., and the good news is it's free, but they do take donations. The Buffalo Fire Museum, a beautiful tribute to the original first responders. Mike Randall, 7 News, Buffalo. Cool place. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's not cool. It's not cool outside. No.